Assalamualaikum and hi. Hari ni kita nak buat something a little bit different. I never did this. Tak pernah pun buat benda ni. Tak pernah nak buat uh, iPhone review ke apa. So today, hari ni, this, today I'm going to make an iPhone review. iPhone 12 Pro Max. This is the most expensive iPhone that I've ever bought in my entire life. Which is wow. So I had to take this opportunity by making this iPhone review. So, um, without further ado, let's hit it. So the iPhone 12 Max Pro, iPhone 12 Max Pro, is it iPhone 12 Pro Max? Is it? Yeah, yeah, that's definitely the one. They have their own, I don't know, some sort of designer just designing this package. I'm gonna unbox this, just gonna pull this thing off. Wow, so here you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is a bit harder, okay. Wow, this is quite heavy. So I'm just gonna peel this thing off. Wow, look at that, wow, damn, it's actually really nice, look at that, it's really nice. Tak tahu macam mana cakap, but it's so sharp on the edge, because it, it, it totally feels so smooth. Okay, this is my old iPhone X, which is already broken. It doesn't feel as nice as holding this phone. Actually, look at that, it's really nice, look at this. The back. Right. Side. That. You can barely see any glass there. Oh yeah, by the way, the box is way, the box is way, way smaller. If you see, if you look at this, look at this. Look at the size comparison. Look at that. Holy crap. So here we go. We got the iPhone stickers. We have the cables. See that? Type C to um, lightning. So here you go, the iPhone, the cables, and all of this thing. Just like that. It's pretty expensive. Size comparison. This thing is way, way bigger. This is the biggest iPhone ever. And it's really big. Compare it to this. Look at this. This is the iPhone X. So look at this. Okay, personally, I really like this display. It's way, way better. The button size is bigger. Look at this. this top. Yeah, look at that. It's way bigger. Look at that. It's really nice. It has the best display between the other iPhones that I bought. See here, there's also a LiDAR. I don't know, is it a LiDAR or LiDAR sensor? Over there, just right over here. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So this is the telephoto, the white and normal. And this has the biggest aperture, the biggest image sensor on uh, an iPhone ever. Let's get to the next part, which is the cameras. The iPhone 12 Max Pro did excellently on daylight photos and did pretty well at low light too. The bigger image sensor and aperture did really well, giving a wider dynamic range to the photos. I'm really impressed with the low light capabilities. Take a look at this photo of the off that I took. It looks really bright but it is actually really dark and the noise is not that noticeable. The video capabilities is also fantastic. So this is the video, uh, selfie video. It's pretty nice, pretty sharp. You can see the details, the background. The IBIS image stabilization is really commendable. This is a video of me walking while recording handheld, not using any gimbals or whatsoever. Take a look at this video at low light and tell me what you think about it. For me, it is quite impressive. I don't think that any other people who, uses, who already uses iPhone and changing to iPhone 12, it's not gonna be that much of a difference. 
except if you're looking on cameras, internet speed, and so on. Since we're actually living in Malaysia, and tak banyak pun, uh, and they're still having any uh, 5G coverage, but I can say uh, for its 4G connection, it's way better. If you're looking for something bigger, if you're looking for the biggest iPhone, I'm pretty sure this is a very uh, good iPhone for you if you love to watch uh, movies and stuff if you would like to play uh, games this is really good for you if you like this video a sub would be amazing and inshallah see you next time